Hey folks, Ray from Love You RV. Well, it's starting to cool down. Summer's starting to wind down here on Vancouver Island. And out here, this is actually not fog. This is smoke from the, the western fires down in the U.S. has finally uh, made its way up here and enveloped the whole uh, Vancouver Island. But uh, supposedly it's supposed to go away in a day or so. So I'm hoping it goes away anyway. So with winter coming and summer leaving, I thought I'd come back and update the review on this uh, F40 C4 TMP fridge freezer that I got uh, from a Bouge RV back June 7th. So what I did is after the, the, I demoed and reviewed it for you, I just stuck it under our slide out and let her go all summer. So it's basically been running 24 seven for about three months. Um, I did test it as a freezer over the summer when it got really hot and it seemed to work pretty good as a freezer even in the really hot weather um, but mostly what I've been using is to keep uh, beverages nice and icy cool like pop and beer and stuff like that so it's done the trick for that and helped uh, keep some space in our RV fridge so I don't have to have the beverages in there so how's it perform? Perform pretty well although I have found that the temperature tends to uh, be a little higher than what I read on this temperature monitor here. This is showing 36.9 right now and this thing is showing that it's 32 but it's um, a little off, a little bit of variation. Um, you can see I actually have it set for 30 just so it's turning on but usually I would set this for about 33 and I found it would keep the pop quite cool kind of like refrigerator cool so it worked out good but this thing is not totally accurate it kind of varies as the compressor kicks it on and off but I'd have to say overall I'm pleased with it uh, not much has changed from my review from before I'll give you a link back to that if you want to go check it out it's stacked full of uh, coolers and stuff there um, yeah, like I said in my review, this lid was kind of the least favorite part of the thing and the catch. And it's kind of a little loose too. So I think they could improve on their lid. It would be nice if they had a catch that was kind of like a clamp versus this uh, plastic affair. Let's look at how the rubber seals held up. And got a bug in there. Seems to have been okay. Inside's looking good. No problems there. Let's give you a quick look inside here and I'll listen to the compressor and fan. So I don't see any signs of any wiring overheating or anything. It's not even really dirty. The compressor hasn't really changed or got louder at all over the course of the months. And the fan has stayed quiet too, so overall I'm pleased with the setup down there. So for its price, I think it went for about $349. I'll probably keep it over the winter. I won't need it too much in the winter to keep things cool, but uh, I'll continue having it under the slide. What I did is I put it under our slide out so this thing hasn't been babied or anything at all. Just under the slide so the weather couldn't really get at it as far as rain, but it was out in, out in the elements under there, just partially sheltered. Um, I'm starting to get prepped for winter now. So i just uh, let you know a few things, reviews I'm going to have coming. Um, this Outland Fire Bowl. Uh, we haven't carried one usually in our travels just because they're a little bit of extra bulk and weight to carry around. But since we're going to be now spending the winter here, I thought it'd be a nice addition for us. So at least we can sit outside on a cool day and uh, have a little bit of heat and enjoy the view. Uh, and got that for my birthday, upcoming birthday. So. It's nice of her, thanks Anne. And also I ordered myself and purchased a skirting kit. Now this one's made by a company called Easy Snap. Same company that I uh, got the, the shades, the window shades from. So that's why I kind of went with them. Um, it's kind of a middle ground between DIYing yourself a little cheaper or going whole hog with a custom vinyl skirting kit uh, all custom made for the RV. Even still it's it's going to cost me pretty close to $2,000 for the kit 
and I had to buy some piping. You see, I'm just in the process of lay, laying out piping. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna have a couple install videos for you. I'll do the one where I do the main skirting going around the Cougar. And then I also ordered a, a room for the front. If you look at the snaps in here. This is kind of their claim to fame is these uh, they're stick on snap, plastic snap. I'm actually going to do mostly screws just because we're going to be in a pretty windy environment here. So I want it to hold. Anyway, I won't get too far into it today. Just uh, expect that in the upcoming uh, weeks. I have a couple of videos for that. Decided to get on it early before it gets too cool around here. September is usually nice, but it can start to get to kind of coolish in October. Anyway, till next time, Ray from loveyourv.com. Cheers, everyone.